Hi, this is Zach here with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Thursday, the 25th of July. Starting up with the FTSE 100, which is broken down below the floor of that rising trend channel from back in October. So, uh, 8150, the uh, nominal level there, and it's gone down now to the uh, suggested 8070 area, which was the floor of that uh, falling trend channel from back in May. The RSI was the giveaway, it kept on fading at 55, and that tends to be a uh, leading indicator on the downside. Below 8070, on that line on an end of day close basis, we have the risk actually of this market heading down to the 200 day moving average area, or at least that uh, April resistance line projection or support line projection, in fact, down to 7880. But we shall see. Early and end of day close back above 8150, maybe today, tomorrow would really uh, delay the prospect of further losses. On to the DAX, and uh, here. Uh, picture also uh, uh, not so good in the sense that we had uh, the false breakdown uh, last week and then rallied back up to that uh, May resistance line, but the gap down today. 18,000, the uh, obvious support area, but obviously we now can't rule out a fresh leg down to 17,600 in the April support. Need to see an end of day close back above 18,300 really to cancel the negative setup so far. The Dow is next, and uh, here... Uh, it was making brave noises uh, after hitting the highs um, over the recent past. But uh, now we're back below the 40,000 level, heading back towards the floor of that rising trend channel from this time last year, 39,300 and the 50-day moving average. Need to see a clearance really of 40,400 to uh, unwind the negative setup and the bull trap effect that we've had for July. Bitcoin is next and uh, here... The name of the game is the, uh, well, basically holding on to that 50 day moving average, 63,500. Below that, we risk a move down to the 200 day line, 60,100. But not expecting worse than that now, given the uh, decent bear trap rebound that we had earlier in this month, uh, or earlier this month from below 60,000. The longer we stay above that 50 day line, the greater the chance of at least a move up to 70,500 and the March resistance line over the next two to three weeks. But moving on to gold, and uh, here you can see that uh, the market looking quite chirpy, holding up at the higher levels, uh, especially above 2450, makes us feel uh, more confident that, that we've got to move up towards the top of the channel there from December 2600, and we're looking for that by the end of next month. Only well below the 50 day line now at 2376, really delaying the ongoing upside scenario. Moving on to the stocks and starting off with Altona here. We're fast approaching our first target there off the rising base trend channel from back in March. And that was around 2.2 pence above that, looking for 3 pence plus, hopefully by the end of next month. We're approaching the uh, 200 day line, just under 2 pence. And uh, we haven't been above, above that since uh, back in April. So hopefully this will be the time when the uh, trend change gets underway. Only back below the uh, post well, the old April resistance there, one and three quarter pence, really delaying the upside scenario. But as long as we're above that 50 day moving average at 1.34, we feel that this situation is improving. Moving on to Carclo, which has uh, already broken the top of that channel, which suggests that the channel, it was actually a bit low, let's say, and uh, looking for the upper parallel of that channel from back in uh, February. And that's heading for uh, 41 pence, which we might get by the end of next month while we remain above uh, recent support in the 27, 28 pence area on an end of day close basis. Looking at uh, Elico for the first time in a long time, here we've got uh, a rising trend channel, which has been in place uh, for years, actually, if I can uh, get the uh, uh, the right shot, screenshot there. There we've got um, the uh, rising trend channel there since the uh, Summer of 2021, top of the channel there, heading towards 170, 175, and uh, looking for that over the next couple of months, while we remain on the right side of £1.20. So let's see if Elico can give us uh, the type of rally that we had b uh, back in 2021 uh, for the latter part of 2024. Uh, for Expo is next, and uh, here the shares uh, hitting a target that we've set. And hitting that uh, top of that triangle there, that was uh, around the 59 pence area above that, looking for fresh leg to the upside as high as 72 pence by the end of next month. And obviously that would mean conquering the 200 day line, which we haven't been above since February. Galileo looks like it's finally uh, turning around as well. And uh, the reason for saying that is that we've broken 
comprehensively broken that line of resistance at uh, around the 1.15 level that's been in place since uh, the end of 2022 obviously we're still at the top of the range so you could uh, you could argue that we haven't quite broken out yet but uh, above 1.2 pence looking for up to 1.8 pence as soon as the end of next month the other plus point is that we've got the 50 and 200 day lines both rising and uh, we should, we're probably just less than a week away now from a golden cross and the run up to that tends to be the strongest part in the cycle on to hercules which nobody looks at but uh, we do here here we've got a rising trend channel from uh, back in October. We've bounced off the floor of that channel around uh, 36 pence and above that looking for 50 pence by the end of next month. It might be good to see an end of day close above the 50 day line today. Next contender is uh, coming up. It's Inbinity, which uh, has been a recovery, slow recovery situation. We've got a rising 50 day line there looking for the top of that triangle there from December at 30 pence as soon as the end of next month while we remain above that 50-day line, just under 22 pence. Prospects is next, and uh, here decent news from its RNS for the uh, extension, the news that the company had. Uh, still looking for 10 pence, uh, hopefully by the end of next month or much sooner than that, backed by the uh, gap higher that we had back in May and the latest gap up we've had now for the shares. Uh, the 50-day line at seven and a quarter. A good trailing stop loss on the buy argument. On to the last two. First one is Sound Energy. And uh, here you can see the shares uh, bouncing basically off a rising 50 day moving average. We've got a rising trend channel base here. Uh, that's been in place in September. And we're looking for that 1.3 pence, hopefully by the end of next month or going into September while we remain above that 50 day line. Finishing off with um, Upland, which. Um, Gave the bulls a pie in the face, so temporarily found support there of that uh, December line there, just under two pence, but obviously it was not to be. Uh, the next level down was, it will hopefully be the final level. A support line projection there from back in August. That's at a penny. So far that's holding and uh, it really does need to hold. Uh, if we can stay above that, then we're looking for a rally back towards the 1.8, 1.9 pence area, but it uh, has to be said the rug was pulled there rather painfully. That's it from me today. More updates tomorrow.